What's up, everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm here with an early review for you today. Before we get into that, I need a couple of things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Leave a comment in the comment section letting me know your thoughts on today's video and the sneaker we're about to look at. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already. And do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload here on this channel. Now, today we're going to look at a sneaker that is set to release. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, April the 22nd. And here is the box. You see the inverse of a Jordan 1 men box. This is a women's release. And it does not come in extended sizes. So I'm going to be left out in the cold on this release. And I actually like the sneaker. As I show you guys the box tag, you can see right there. I'm going to read it for you. It says Women Air Jordan Retro High OG. And the color is Atmosphere White Muslin and Sail. This is a U.S. women's size 9, which is equivalent to a men's U.S. size 7.5. As I take off the box top, I'm looking for the uh, lot stamp. However, I cannot identify it at this moment. And we do have this tissue, a little smooth on one side, rough on the other. Oh, that's why I couldn't find the lot stamp. It's right here on the bottom. First time I ever seeing it. Right here in red. All for big letters. Or numbers, I should see. And look at your green and white YCM sticker. Got the lines through it. This is an authentic pair. Let's Sneakers. get into it. Here we go guys, we have the Air Jordan Retro 1, the women's Air Jordan Retro 1 that it is. In the color atmosphere, sail, muslin and white, but they're called in these the wash pink. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. So I'll give you a quick little 360, we're gonna jump right into it. On your over there's your eye stays and your uh, mud guard and your heel, you do have an atmosphere colorway. It is a sweet material. It kind of reminds me of a sneaker. You know. Right about there. Hold that Yeah, thought. here we go. People are comparing this sneaker, the wash pink, to the terrible greens. Your thoughts? But me personally, I think it's a little close in material to these bad boys here, the Hyper Royals. The materials are about the same. The leather is about the same. That's my thoughts on it, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section. But that's what we have in the atmosphere colorway or the wash paint colorway that's going all around these places on the sneaker also on the swoosh quarter panel you got some white leather and it's soft to the touch and you got a, a hit of that sail material on your midsole with the atmosphere color at the very bottom which leads to the uh, outsole and you do have an atmosphere oh pink outsole on here look at the back of the sneaker your padded uh, ankle collar area is Okay, it's not so soft, but it's in that a sail colorway padded, and you got your uh your suede coming around from the other side on that heel badge, and you do have a, a white Jordan John brand. I'm sorry, Jordan Wings logo here on the lateral collar. As I look to the medial side of the sneaker, you have more of the atmosphere suede going around your collar. Your lace eyelash, your swoosh, your heel, and your uh, toe mud guard. And you got that sail on that midsole and pink at the very bottom. We're going to go to the, uh, my favorite part of the sneaker is the toe box. You see the leather, really soft. Nice suede on that toe cap, it's decent. You have a sail uh, nylon tongue with a white woven patch, atmosphere, Nike branding on here. You do have a hang tag, silver chain, Nike Air, Nike Air on both sides. Do come stuff with tissue. We 
have an additional set of laces. Comes in a brown box. And what are the color of the laces? We don't have any window this time. Uh, let's take a peek. If they come factory lace with the white laces, I'm assuming these will be uh, atmosphere. Yep, see? Comes with the atmos atmosphere, excuse me, laces on the side. Comes with the white in already. And you do have your insert atmosphere Nike branding on here. And it's one of the uh, black rubber inserts. And let's see, can we get a, uh, a look at the sizing tag? There you go. I'm going to read it to you. US size 9 women production date is September 28th of 2022 to November 22nd of 2022. So almost two months of production with these. And you do have a sale color sock liner with these. And it's kind of smooth. Uh, this is a nice shoe. However, the largest is coming in is a US men's size 10.5, which is a US women's size 12. So if you can fit a 10 and a half on down, you're good to go to get these. If not, like myself, you're left out in the cold, so this is the sneaker I'm going to have to sit out on and will not be able to give you guys an on-foot look. But uh, this is what the sneaker looks like. Let me know your plans when these come out on April the 22nd. Will you be trying to cop these or you part of the Big Feet Gang Team Sasquatch like myself? So this is the sneaker. Look for it on uh, April the 22nd. And... Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn needing help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feed Jack, signing out. Don't forget guys, you get these sneakers, you want to treat them with some of the best in the business. There's a link down in the drop box for Resuvenator. Use my code Titanic Feet Jack and save yourself some money on some shoe cleaner that'll keep these in A1 condition. Also, if you need the drop fronts, like you see back there, these do fit up to size 15. So if you need these and you're part of Team Sasquatch, there's a link in the description as well for Easy Bear. You can get these and save yourself some money.